Now the 2011 Liquid Force Nemesis Series of boards are the best family of boards for Grom riders out there and that's for one simple reason. These boards were developed with three Rip and Wake boarders simultaneously, the Sovin brothers. And what was really cool is years back when I was developing these boards, working with Philip, Robert, and Jason, they're all at different sizes, all at different stages in their riding, and each brother just wanted to beat his older brother to get better in their riding and to just improve and progress. And at that time, they each needed something different from a board. And so we put that all into a family of boards, starting from a 111, going to the 118, and moving up to the 124. Each board in the Nemesis family it progresses, improves, the bottoms become more defined as the needs of a rider as they grow and become a better rider want more out of their board. And the most forgiving shape is our 111. It's the smallest, it's got rounded edges, a softer curves and a really simple bottom. As you move to the 118, the rocker increases, the edges become more defined, the fins become a little deeper and it just has more bite and hold. And then you get up to the 124 that at one point was a board that Philip ripped to win in boys finals. This board has a three-stage rocker, molded inside fins, and a wider tip shape. So for the whole Nemesis family, you know, from your rider starting off to a young Grom starting to rip, you can probably find a board that's just perfect for him because it progresses with your rider as his needs increase and as his riding improves. We combo the Nemesis with our domain binding.